Wedding gifts don't get much better than this. Hey everyone, I'm Rebecca and welcome to Ms. Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times celebs crashed weddings. That means we're looking at the coolest celebrity wedding crashers of all time, including those celebs that were invited without the prior knowledge of the bride and groom. All right, let's walk down the aisle. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10, Tom Hanks. Be honest, if you could have any celebrity photobomb your wedding photos, Tom Hanks would be right at the top of that list. <laughs> Life really is a box of chocolates. You never know who's gonna show up when you're taking wedding photos. The Hollywood nice guy serendipitously interrupted a couple by the name of Elizabeth and Ryan while they were taking their wedding photos in New York City's Central Park. This was the moment Tom Hanks interrupted Elizabeth and Ryan Barclay in Central Park, New York City. Proving this Captain Sully really is a legend. Hanks, who noticed the couple while jogging, stopped to congratulate them before graciously posing for a few pictures. The two-time Oscar winner even posted a selfie of the three of them to his Twitter account. Talk about the ultimate wedding gift. Number 9. Barack Obama Wedding crashers don't get much more high profile than this. In 2015, Stephanie and Brian Toby were getting married at Torrey Pines Golf Course in La Jolla, California when they noticed something peculiar the President of the United States. Then President Barack Obama just so happened to be finishing up a round of golf when he was spotted by the soon-to-be-married couple. This could be the ultimate wedding crash that the bride and groom almost missed. As President Obama was playing golf on Torrey Pines Golf Course Sunday, Stephanie and Brian were about to get married at the adjacent lodge. While the Tobys were fine just watching him from afar, Wedding photographers Jeff and Aaron Youngren sensed an opportunity for some truly unique photos and urged the couple to get a little closer. President Obama was more than happy to pose for a few pictures with the couple, who were no doubt having an out-of-body experience. We know we are just looking at these pics. President Obama didn't stay for the wedding, but these memories will last for generations to come. Number 8. Jennifer Hudson With an Oscar, a Golden Globe, and a couple of Grammys under her belt, it's wholly apparent that singer and actress Jennifer Hudson can do it all. Well, in 2015, she added another somewhat surprising accolade to her resume, Wedding Crasher. Hi, Chris and Scott, it's me, Jennifer. <laughs> when my friends at W Hotel and HRC told me about you guys finally being able to get married in Texas, I had to send a message to say congrats and thank you all for the hard work you do to raise awareness for equality for HRC. Working with the Turn It Up for Change program, Hudson, who's long been a staunch supporter of the LGBTQ community, teamed up with the W Hotel to give Chris and Scott Lindsay a day they would never forget. Scott and Chris, congratulations. Wedding, which came just months after the landmark Obergefell vs. Hodges ruling made same-sex marriage legal across the entire United States, featured a surprise performance from Hudson, who sang I Still Love You off her third studio album, j -Hud. This is a special union because they help fight for those rights, so we wanted to do something very special for them. At least we hope it's special. Smell good, guys. So, let's go turn it up for change. Number 7. Snoop Dogg Imagine walking out of your hotel on your wedding day only to see Snoop D-O-double-G stepping out of a limousine. Well, that's exactly what happened to Chicago couple Joseph and Nisha Kadiali back in 2014. Oddly enough, it was the mother of the groom who insisted they pose for pics with the rapper. While they were initially a little hesitant to get close to him, they eventually calmed down enough to snap a few pics. The mother of the groom later said, quote, Snoop was a blast to be around and that the happy couple and the legendary rapper, quote, had a great conversation and a ton of laughs inside the bar. Snoop later posted a pic of the three of them to his Instagram account. Number six, Taylor Swift. And I don't care what my family says. I want to marry you in a Presbyterian church. Oh, Shivy, I've loved you since the first grade. Are you still considered a wedding crasher if you were secretly invited by the groom's sister? Taylor heard about the family drama when Max's sister sent her a letter inviting her to perform the song at the wedding. Can you love the dance? Can you believe
believe Taylor said yes? In 2016, after months of planning, Taylor Swift surprised Max and Kenya Smith at their wedding, performing Max's favorite song, Blank Space. When the song was over, Swift took time to pose for pictures with the couple, as well as numerous other wedding guests. The couple, who'd wed months earlier at the hospital of the groom's mother, who passed away shortly afterwards, were huge Taylor Swift fans. So, in the light of their loss, Max's sister Ali wrote to the Grammy winner, asking her to come to the wedding, an invitation she gladly accepted. Hey, if it worked for the Smiths, it could work for you too. All right, I want to talk about the fact that when I wrote this song, I never in my life imagined I would be asked to play it at a wedding. <laughs> Number five, Beyonce and Jay-Z. Few weddings in the history of the human race would have been as awesome to attend as Beyonce and Jay-Z's. However, the next best thing would be to have them crash your wedding. That is exactly what happened to one lucky couple back in 2014, when Queen Bee and Hova stumbled upon a wedding party while on vacation in Portofino, Italy. The story goes that Bee and Jay were walking through town clad in bathing suits when they noticed a wedding taking place outside a church. While Jay-Z didn't pose for any pictures, it appears Beyonce was more than happy to make the bride's day posing for a couple of candid pics. Number 4. Lady Gaga Lady Gaga's Monster Ball tour lasted two years and took her all over the world. I don't know, I get like so, I just get so revved up when I do these benchmark shows, you know? That included a 2010 stop in the Australian city of Adelaide. While there, she stayed at the Intercontinental Hotel, which just so happened to be where Aussie couple Courtney and Reese Kerr were tying the knot. The singer walked right into the ballroom, and before you could say poker face, she was posing for pictures and buying the entire wedding a drink. But apparently Oscar has um, some undies. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta put those yeah. on Oscar. Yeah, no, no, oh, well, don't boy. shame him. Yeah, no, he's, he's, <laughs> you're right. He's, he's naked and it's okay. <laughs> okay, you're right. Number three, Ed Sheeran. After falling on hard times, an Australian couple was planning on postponing their wedding. Difficult circumstance, she was going through a little problems with her life. Um, unfortunately, this tragic event happened and it's just put so much on Kaya. She's bringing up two lovely kids and trying to keep us all afloat. However, when local radio personalities Kyle and Jackie O of the Kyle and Jackie O Show heard their story, they stepped in and surprised the couple by paying for the wedding. We have to thank our friends at the Sydney Bridal Expo because we are going to throw you a $60,000 wedding. Oh my God, guys. Yes. Oh my goodness. But that wasn't all. On the day of the event, the celebrity benefactors showed up in person, bringing with them an even bigger surprise. Ed freaking Sheeran. The pop superstar sang his hit song, Thinking Out Loud, before posing for pics with the starstruck couple. When your legs don't work like they used to before And I can't sweep you off on your feet He later posted a picture to his Instagram with the caption, quote, Just surprised this lovely couple's first dance. Available for weddings, birthdays, and bar mitzvahs, contact your local supermarket for details. Number 2. Katy Perry no bride wants to be upstaged on their wedding day, but we have a feeling Haley Rosenblum and her groom Blonnie Dudney didn't mind when Katy Perry popped in to say hello when they tied the knot back in 2017. Here comes the bride, all dressed in white, but no one cares cause Katy Perry was there. Perry, who was taking a break from touring, happened to be staying at the same St. Louis hotel as the couple when she spontaneously decided to give them the surprise of a lifetime. She crashed a wedding. She was in St. Louis because she had a concert the following night. So she was at the Four Seasons Hotel and she saw a wedding happening. So she went over to the couple and she asked if she could come. Perry wasn't content simply posing for pictures, hopping on the dance floor and busting a move to Justin Timberlake's sexy back. Oddly enough, this wasn't even the first time she's crashed a wedding having dropped in on a rehearsal in 2013 as well. But back to Katie. Did she have a plus one? It was Katy Perry plus 30 to 40. Yep, she rolled through with the crew from her witness tour and started a dance party. So number one is actually pretty surprising because this person cannot go anywhere without like a huge entourage. But let's check out some honorable mentions before we see who it is.
have a lovely uh, time. Thank it's a you. wonderful, yeah. lovely wedding. I'm gonna Wait, can go. we get I just want to one with you? If they want, yeah. I should go. Yeah. Yeah. I, think, I think they do. <laughs> <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Queen Elizabeth II Without a doubt the coolest wedding crasher in the history of wedding crashers, Queen Elizabeth II surprised Manchester couple John and Frances Canning in 2012 when she took time out of her presumably busy schedule to wish them luck at their wedding. An English couple have had a wedding day they'll never forget after their ceremony was gate-crashed by Queen Elizabeth. The British monarch dropped in on John and Frances Canning with her husband Prince Philip just after the pair tied the knot at Manchester Town Hall. The Cannings knew the Queen would be in their neck of the woods on the day of their wedding, so they decided to send her a letter asking if she'd like to attend. She came over and says, hello Francis, hello John, and that threw you <laughs> straight away, you know. We didn't know, it was a, basically a wedding gift for us. To everyone's surprise, the Queen actually showed up. According to Francis, quote, she was beautiful, a really nice woman, and wished us all the best. The Queen looks stylish in a matching pink linen and wool coat outfit, almost upstaging the bride. As far as bucket list items go, getting the Queen to attend your wedding has got to be one of the hardest to cross off. How much would you love your favorite celebrity crashing your wedding? Or, new question, what if you didn't actually like the celebrity? That would be kind of awkward. Anyway, let us know what you think in the comments, or come talk to me on Twitter or Instagram at Rebecca Brayton. Be sure to like and subscribe, and please watch this other video. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.